Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this YouTube video, we're going to do something kind of different. This doesn't really have to do with optimizations within your system or Windows or BIOS, but this does have to do with your peripherals, which is most likely where most of your latency is going to come from. So in this one, we're going to be talking about mouse and I might make this a series where I talk about mouse, keyboards, monitors, and other stuff. But in this video, we're going to be talking about basically what mouses you should try to get what mouses you should try to avoid and what pulling rate you should use and what dpi so let's get some basics basically thrown out the window right now so wireless mice are always going to have always going to have higher latency than wired mouse it is what it is you might have people saying oh i like this one better i like this one better again mouse is generally just personal preference and some people might like the shape of the mouse but don't really care about the latency that comes with the mouse if you're looking for the specific least possible latency on a mouse then you shouldn't care if it's wireless or not and you should basically figure out which one of the low latency mices are the best one for your hands so the first thing that you could change with your current mouse that will most likely help a ton is make sure it's set to a thousand hertz in your polling rate right so some of you might have a 8000 Hertz mouse like a Razer Viper ultimate or something like that I recommend stay at 4000 Hertz because that's like the stable polling rate that shouldn't cause any issues within Windows and generally the 8000 Hertz setting on the Razer Viper ultimate is unstable I've had issues with people and some people reported it being having issues with 8000 Hertz so make sure you're only using 4000 Hertz anything above that it could cause issues within Windows or just within the mouse itself and then the second thing is gonna be your DPI so DPI is really important a lot of people are somehow still using 400 DPI which is very outdated and it's very slow but basically DPI stands for dots per inch and the higher DPI the more dots per inch your, the mouse is able to read which should help latency right it makes sense the mouse can see more things more movements on your mouse pad or desk so make sure you're using 800 DPI at least and then if you want the added benefit you could go 1600 and then just lower your res in game so all you got to do so make sure you're using 800 dpi and make sure you're using a thousand hertz or four thousand hertz but quick pointer regarding polling rate if you do increase your polling rate and your specs aren't up to par so you have a really bad system the polling rate might actually take a toll on your fps just because it needs more system resources to run that polling rate and you might have fps drops you might have just weird fps stutters here and there because of the polling rate so make sure if you have decent specs you use a thousand hertz if you have high-end specs you could do 4,000 perfectly fine if you have low-end specs you might want to test around with 1,000 and see what's going on with there but generally most of you nowadays are able to run 1,000 hertz there shouldn't be that much of a problem unless you're on a very very old system and it's very very slow all right guys so a third point I completely glanced over while making that video that you were watching basically you want to turn off your RGB on your peripherals no matter what it is turn it off rgb just uses more power and creates more interference so there's really no point of rgb it's just for looks and in fact it hinders performance i leave this article in the description and as you can see it's telling you that without rgb the tracking is nearly perfect but with rgb the tracking quality takes a hit so and it has more information on rgb there's just a little bit of what it shows and basically as you can see our v polling rate stability whenever rgb is turned off is way better compared to basically whenever it's turned on so make sure you disable your rgb in your mouse software keyboard software or whatever software you're using for rgb and then uninstall the software right after because you don't need it running in the background and you shouldn't have it running in the background whenever you're gaming it just creates more latency and uses more system resources so yeah so now that we got those two things out of the way those are some things that you could do on your current mouse you could basically start looking at this rtings mouse table and look at some of these things that you could look at so you could basically make this table sorted by click latency whenever it's wired so obviously you want to skip the na because na doesn't mean anything but as you can see the razor death adder v2 mini 
when there's this one the zam knig m2k i don't know how to say the first part of that but this mouse is really good i'm pretty sure it's up to 8000 hertz as well so yeah this mouse is really good if you want to buy that i'll leave a link to this in the description but basically this mouse is super cool but the shape is really weird so your hand has to fit it so there's no point of buying this if your hand doesn't fit it and it's too small or just an odd shape that you don't like so if we scroll up right here these are all na and then as you can see these are some of the lower click latency ones so Razer Viper 8000 Hertz is obviously one of the lowest click latencies. You would expect that from a mouse just like that. So I'll leave a link to that as well in the description, just because this is one of the best mouses and I do recommend it for a whole bunch of people. So if you want it, I'll leave a link to it in the description. You could buy it. It's literally only 40 bucks. You get an 8000 Hertz mouse, 40 bucks. And all you have to do is set it to 4000 Hertz and it should work perfectly fine. So make sure if you're looking for a new mouse, take this into account, try to get the this if possible because this mouse is great i've had a lot of people have good luck with it and there's also the newer one which is the death adder v3 wired and you can look at this as well this one is obviously going to be more expensive but it's a different shape and it might fit your hand if you're looking at that and it's also a thousand hertz and it's super light only 59 grams so those are some of the mouses that i recommend personally there's more mouses that you could look at and you can look at some of these mouses in here and see what your mouse is currently on obviously i have the razor viper mini and obviously it's one of the lower click latencies and it's a really good mouse honestly the razor viper mini is one of the best mouses i've ever had so i really like it and then as you can see there's more razor stuff razor definitely makes some of the best products in terms of mouses and peripherals but here we have the logitech g pro x super light and as you can see super low latencies and then this is wired versus click latency on a receiver obviously receiver is higher it is what it is right and as you can see it has more information here but yeah you could look at this site for yourself i'll leave a link to it in the description and you could look at some of these mouses and just see what's going on and see which one where your current mouse is at and if you should upgrade it or not but generally i feel like everybody should at least aim for the razor death adder v3 or try to get the razor viper 8000 hertz mouse that's only 40 bucks but yeah other than that that's gonna be pretty much it for this video guys if you want a full pc optimization service where you get the lowest possible latency on your current specs on your current peripherals and the best fps on your specs head over to the link in the description and book either my advanced or ultimate pc optimization to get ahead competitively and be able to perform in your gameplay competitively now second thing is going to be if you want a full pc built for you if you're tired of playing on the same old pc you've been playing on for years you just want to upgrade a final upgrade that you will have for years head over to the second link right under my scheduling booking site to order a custom built pc completely custom built by me optimized by me straight tested by me and completely decked out with the highest end performing parts head over to the second link right under my scheduling website and order it today and i'll get it to you in about two weeks time but yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys if you guys enjoyed leave a like comment down below what i should do next and comment down below if any of the two things that i mentioned earlier in this video helped i'll see you guys in the next one peace out